guys, Cyprian from FUFO here and I'm ready to show you the third tutorial of the series uh, about to teach you some simple uh, knowledge of language C. So let's start from um, the example, uh, the last example from the tutorial number two in which I show you how to do some uh, very simple uh, addition uh, and how to use, how to print uh, something using the, the print function um, now I'll do something slightly more advanced. I'll show you how to um, how to make a loop and how to uh, print out all the kinds of uh, variable and we'll see also how to use a few mathematical functions. So I, I guess this video will be quite useful. Uh, but you'll see it, it still stays very uh, accessible. Okay, so the first thing for me to do is uh, to save this file uh, with a different name. So let's say that under the name loop.c. Okay, so um, I, again, I told that several times, but I'm using Emacs as the text editor. You can use any kind of te text editor. You don't have to use that. The advantage and why I like it is that you have um, you can have the terminal comment inside. So let's let's do just that. Let's open a second window. Make it bigger like that. And um, let's just open the shell inside. So out X and shell. Okay. Now I'm ready to, to change my example. So um, Let's just delete what I have here. And what I want to show you is first of all, how to do a loop uh, in uh, language C. So it's easier than, than you think. Uh, so the first thing to do is define a variable that I will call uh, iteration, that I will use as uh, some, kind of, uh, some kind of number which will help me to, to count um, the, the different iteration of my loop uh, and I don't need to initialize it because I'll, I will initialize it inside the loop. So now you just have to, to do for, so this is the main instruction for the loop for, um, then iteration equal and here that's that's where you initialize it to zero um, and don't get this wrong um, you have to use a point comma in between, not just a comma, right? This is important. Uh, iteration equals zero until iteration is uh, inferior to 10, maybe. Um, then another point comma, and, and the last of the three instructions required for the for loop is um, iteration plus plus. So this is an uh, instruction that will tell me to, to increment iteration every time I, I go through the loop. Now, you don't put the point comma at the end of this instruction, otherwise you have a problem. Um, you put two, two accolades like that. And um, inside this, you will just uh, print whatever is inside the loop. So let's use the printf function and let's use the same thing I did in the previous video. So this is the iteration um, number and let's put a percent, percent %d for an integer and tell it that the percent %d is actually my iteration uh, integer point comma at the end. And now I should have something which actually works. So it should print me uh, 10 times in a loop this uh, simple instruction by replacing every time iteration number inside my string. Let's save that and let's try to run this to see if I'm actually getting what I want. So gcc loop.c um, dash o to give it a name and let's call it loop seems to be working loop.exe 
Okay, so it works. Uh, now there's a small, a small, well, it's not really a problem. It's uh, totally normal. Uh, but the thing is that you see, it prints it like that. This is the iteration number zero. Then it doesn't go to the line. It's printed in the same, uh, everything in one line. So, of course, we don't want to have something like this. So the way is to add, to add um, this n at the end. So there is a, how do you call that? Anti slash, anti slash n at the end. And this is the actual instruction that will tell to go through, to change a line basically. So if I go back here, compile again, run again now, uh, it's nice and clean. Okay, so we are good for the first part of this tutorial, but I want to show you something a bit more. Uh, I want to show you how to use um, mathematic operation because there is a library which is very useful if you're doing a simple math operation, which is the math.h uh, library. So let's use include and math.h here. And there are a lot of functions inside, so I will not present all the function. I'll just give you an example with uh, a typical sinusoidal function, for example. Uh, and now I need, um, I need a result variable, which will be the result of the calculation of the sinusoidal function. Uh, and this is not an integer, this will be a double. So this time I write it like that, double, uh, and let's call it result. Result, oh, point comma, okay. Um, and here in my for function, what I'll do is that after, well, I will simplify just a bit this. I'll just put uh, iteration two points and that's all, make it make it just a bit simple. Uh, and here I will add a second printf and I'll just print, I want sinus of iteration. So instead of putting iteration, I'll put percent d, right, equal. And here I will not calculate it inside the printf, of course. So I have to, to calculate that before uh, in each iteration of the loop. So I'll just, at every, every time I'll calculate this result, which will be equal to sin and iteration, point comma. So now my result variable is defined. And don't forget that this is a double variable. It's not an integer, so it's not person D. Uh, it's percent LF. So there are different ways to write for different types of variables. And now we can write first is iteration, second is uh, result. Okay, like that. Now, again, let's put, let's put another uh, empty slash n at the end. Let's say that and let's try to see what I'm getting. Nice, it works. Uh, now I'm getting iteration zero, calculation of sinus zero and the result. And you see that now it's not an integer anymore, it's a double variable. So I have uh, more, so it's, it's a f either a float or either a minus, a double variable can be both. Okay, so that's all for this uh, very simple third tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to define um, if conditional uh, type of instructions, which is another very uh, useful and very basic kind of instruction in C that you have to know. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.